Hi folks, in this video I'm going to be looking at doing scratched, weathered and worn hazard markings, perfect for your iron warriors or for enforcing that industrial feel to your necromunda bases. So without any further ado, let's cue the music. To start out with, I'm going to be applying a yellow base coat to the areas which I want to have the hazard markings. And to do this, I'm using Avalon Sunset from Games Work. Due to yellow being a trickier colour to work with than most, I've thinned this down with a little bit more water than normal, and I'm looking to do possibly three to four thin coats of this. Due to the pigment used in yellow, it can be a bit thicker than normal, so it's very important that we thin this down. If you're doing this for an industrial base, so you just want to do this quickly, you might want to thin it down to do it to the point where it's maybe two thin coats or three thin coats rather than three or four. But if you're doing this on something like a tank that you're taking a bit more care on, then definitely try and go for three to four thin coats of this Avalon Sunset. Once our initial base coat has dried with a nice solid finish, I'll be coming in with a Cassandra Yellow Wash from Games Workshop. And I'll be applying this neat out of the pot and I'll be doing this as an all over wash all over the yellow areas. Now what I will be doing is dragging my brush to the areas where I want the most wash to be. As when you leave the brush stroke and pick it back up that is where the most pigment is left. So I've left it into the corners. Once the wash has dried we can see that it's given us a nice orangey yellow staining effect and where we dragged it more into the corners it has now left us with a subtle transition. So now what I'm going to do is come back in with my base coat yellow and I'm going to start emphasizing that transition. So I'm going to start painting my base coat color back up into the opposite areas of where I dragged the wash into. And I've thinned this once again down to the consistency I painted the original step in. As you can see it looks kind of rough as a gap between the two. There's a very stark difference in the color. So whilst the Avalon Sunset is still wet, I'm gonna come back in with a clean brush and move backwards and forwards over the wet area and slowly feather it out into the stained wash coat. You don't have to be too neat with this, just so that it's not a complete stark, basically, line between the two areas. We're going to be painting black stripes over this, which will really help hide any unsmooth blending we've got going on here. Next we are going to use your favourite black to paint in the stripes on the hazard markings and I'm going to be using the angles on the base as a guideline for this. And so I've thinned down the black a little bit more than normal and I'm doing these lines vertically where I can. It is much easier to do these stripe markings if you're going in a straight downwards motion if you've got a bit more practice, you can try doing it at an angle, but you just need to be roughly in the same sort of direction and the same sort of spacing. It doesn't matter if it's not quite perfect, especially if it's on a base or if it's on a curved surface on a model, because when it's on a tabletop, you really won't notice the difference. And with this, it's just a matter of taking your time and using the bits of the model as a guideline and trying to do that straight motion coming down. Don't feel that you can't turn the base or the model to get a better angle. Use everything you can to your advantage with drawing these lines. And as you can see, these aren't perfect, but they've given us a nice good guideline to get the impression across. With the guidelines in place for your hazard markings, all that's left to do is to fill in the gaps in between. And so what you want to do is start by painting in one, just pick one, doesn't matter which, and then make sure that you skip one and paint the one one away from it. So in that way you get the, the black yellow, black yellow markings. And keep the paint thin and take your time with this. And if you believe that it helps, switch to a smaller brush or one that you feel confident with. You're better off taking your time and being slow with this than trying to fill the gaps in very quickly. You can also use this stage to start to neaten up any slight errors you had. And it doesn't matter if the stripes aren't all exactly the same width. If they're all roughly around the same width, then they all start to look very coherent once you've got the entire lot done, as you can see here. Last step to do on the hazard markings is to come back in with the original Avalon Sunset paint and to start doing little dots and lines and to represent scratches in the paintwork. This really helps sell the fact that these stripes are used in a busy industrial or 
war-torn environment if you're using this for iron warriors but what this also does is it really helps to prevent your uneven stripes if you haven't been quite perfect or neat with them to hide any rough edges that you might have showing that the black paint is fading away leaving the yellow paint underneath like with all weathering it's really easy to overdo it so what I'd recommend is doing a couple of lines, a couple of dots to represent chips and scratches on each of the black stripes and see how you like the look of it. It's always easy to add more and it's very difficult to take this away. To really sell this as being a very heavy weathering and wearing away of the black paint, you can do an edge highlight on the corners and on the straight edges of the areas that you've done your hazard markings. This is showing that it's been walked on and things have been dragged over it showing that the black paint is really starting to come away. And with that the chipping and weathering and the hazard stripes are now complete. I hope you've enjoyed this video if you've managed to make it all the way to the end and if you did so why not consider subscribing. It's free of charge, it helps me out and you get further notifications in your feed or tutorials just like this one. So until next time folks.